بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم جہاد از ون آف دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ ڈاکٹرنس آف اسلام اینڈ ان دس ریگارڈ ٹو ویری امپارٹنٹ انسٹیٹیوٹس ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دس ڈاکٹرین از دیٹ اٹ شیل آلویز اینڈ آلویز بی کنڈکٹیڈ بائی اے پراپرلی آرگنائز اسٹیٹ اٹ کین ناٹ بی کنڈکٹیڈ بائی اینی پرائیویٹ انڈیویجول بائی اینی پرائیویٹ آرگنائزیشن اور ان اینی پرائیویٹ مینر ہیز ٹو بی کنڈکٹیڈ بائی این اسلامک اسٹیٹ بائی اے مسلم رولر اینڈ دا سیکنڈ امپارٹنٹ تھنگ وچ نیڈس ٹو بی ریئلائز از دیٹ ٹو ڈے دا سول گراؤنڈ آف کنڈکٹنگ جہاد is to curb oppression, persecution and injustice. There is no other ground on the basis of which jihad can be conducted today. Now, what is the driving and the motivating force of conducting this jihad? Whenever this jihad is to be conducted, it shall never be conducted for a personal desire or a personal ambition or to accomplish some personal aim. The Quran is very specific about it. It says that it shall be conducted only and only to please God and for His cause. The words of the Quran are, الذين آمنوا يقاتلون في سبيل الله والذين كفروا يقاتلون في سبيل الطاغوت فقاتلوا أولياء الشيطان إن كيد الشيطان كان زعيفا Those who have professed faith fight in the cause of Allah and those who have rejected faith fight in the cause of Satan So fight you against the friends of Satan Ever feeble indeed is the plot of Satan So it is absolutely clear from this verse that whenever believers fight in the form of an organized state against their enemy, the driving force behind it is to please God and they have to fight only and only for his cause. Now the Prophet has said a number of things while explaining this verse and I'll read out those stipulations before you because they very aptly and appropriately explain what, what this verse actually says. Abu Musha Ashri narrates that once a person came to the Prophet and said that some people fight for the spoils of war some for fame, and some to show off their valor. He then asked the Prophet, which one of them fights in the way of Allah? The Prophet replied, only the person fights in the way of Allah who sets his foot on the battlefield to raise the name of Allah. Similarly, Abu Umar Bahili narrates that a person came to the Prophet and asked, what is your opinion about a person who fights for monetary benefits and fame? The Prophet replied, he will gain nothing. The person repeated his question three times and each time the Prophet gave the same answer and then said, the Almighty never accepts a deed until it is pure and done merely to please him. Another narrative from Abu Hurairah says that it's attributed to the Prophet and the Prophet once said, the fate of three types of people shall be decided first on the day of judgment. A person who was martyred while fighting, the Almighty will remind him of his favors Once the person remembers them, the Almighty will ask, What did you do for me? He will reply, I fought for you until I embraced martyrdom. The Almighty will say, You have told a lie. You, f- you fought so that people would acknowledge your bravery, and that has already taken place. The Al- Almighty will then order for his punishment, and he will be dragged by his face and thrown into hell. Another narrative from Ubadah ibn Samit, He narrates from the Prophet, a prophet, a person who fought in the way of Allah with the intention that he, had, would he, that he would gain a rope from the war booty to tie a camel will only get the rope and nothing else. Another narrative attributed to the Prophet and narrated by Maaz ibn Jabal says, wars are of two types. A person who fought merely to please Allah, obeyed his ruler in the war, spent the best of his wealth, was affectionate with his fellow fighters and abstained from spreading disorder and evil, then all the time he spent in the war, whether he was awake or was asleep, all shall earn him reward. And a person who fought for fame and to earn the praises of the world and disobeyed his ruler during the war and thereby created disorder, he would not be spared. So, as explained by the Prophet, it is essential that whenever jihad is conducted, it has to be conducted merely and merely to please the Almighty. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات